Hello, this is David from goldstartool.com and uh, today I'm going to show you uh, pull chuck and nails. I'm going to show you uh, how it works, what it is and explain. So um, what we call this one is a pull chuck and uh, it's, a, it's a gadget pretty much. It's a very, very old type of gadget that um, is used for this type of nails and these are called nails, chalk nails that go inside and I'm gonna tell you what it is used for. That we said on our website and we have a lot of questions regarding this, how it's done, how it, how it works. And I'm gonna, it's very nice. And I mean, it's, it, 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 um, uh, the way it, the way it is, it's, I mean, amazing. Uh, I mean, now these they usually have a pattern of stuff that make you, when you make a clothing or you have a fabric, Let's say if it has a strap, or it has a design, or it has a pattern on the, the uh, fabric. When you lay it down and you want to cut it, you want to make sure all the t-shirts or all the pants or skirts are all come out the same. Meaning if you have a red, uh, have a strip of red, blue, white, yellow on the fabric, you want to wait when you put it down. You, when you lay it down and you spreading it down, you want to make sure it all comes the same way when you lay it down to cut or do anything. Or if you have fabrics that tend to roll back when you laying your fabric down a cutting table. Now, we're going to imagine that this is our cutting table because usually tables are 72 inch. Uh, we don't have that equipment, video equipment to do a 72 inch video right here. But we have, let's say, on this table, we're gonna imagine that this is our cutting table, okay? And these are used as a nail that you're gonna go ahead and uh, put the nail in the fabric. And the way you do it, it's that you're gonna use this pull chuck. You see this notch? There's a notch in there. Let me just show you the notch. You see there's a notch in there. You see that notch? And there is this hole right here. You just put it in there and you pull it down. And you see this one would not. So what happened is you're gonna just put this on the corner on the side of your table, cutting table. This is not gonna ruin your table. It's gonna be all the way to the side and you just hammer it. Okay. I hammered it down, right? And then you just Put this up and pull it up. Now you have your nail in here. And you're gonna do the same, you're gonna measure. Let's say we have five inch here. You're gonna get five inch and go to the other end, all right? And we're gonna do the same thing, all right? We're gonna, we're gonna just make sure that this notch has to stay in here. <laughs> okay, you're gonna go ahead and Measure five inch, let's say, and put another. And just pull it up. You're gonna go another five inch, right? And down, right? And ah, did I came up from the other side? Here goes my set. And we're gonna go ahead and, I'm not gonna, don't worry, I'm not gonna do everything. We're gonna go ahead and another five inch and pull this up. We put this away. Okay, now, this comes in four inch, five inch, Six inch and eight inch. These are eight inch. It all depends how uh, how many layers you're gonna do, how tall you're gonna go with your fabric. Okay. So let's say imagine we have a fabric that has design on it, and we want to make sure that when we are laying them up or spreading them down, all the pattern when we cut are gonna be the same. So somebody on the other side hold the fabric and they just go ahead and push it through. 
Now this is a very tough fabric, obviously. See? And you're gonna do it one layer at a time. You just put this through, okay? And then you put this one through as well. I had part of denim jeans. <laughs> right. Let me do one layer at a time. It's much better if I do one layer at a time. Okay. So. Now imagine this is your fabric and it's all the way down. Okay. And then you go and you do Another layer, okay? Let's say you're gonna bring another layer. Just go ahead and put it down. Now, this could be along a 20 foot table or 10 feet table when you're laying down all the fabric. These are very sharp, okay? So when you put everything down, when you're down, Imagine you have all the strip the same, or the pattern are the same. Then you could go ahead and cut. Or let's say if you have a type of fabric that rolls back, you're gonna make sure it's not gonna roll back when you put it down, right? Okay, so this is the nail. They come in five inch, six inch, four inch, five inch, six inch, and eight inch. And this is the pull chuck. And I tell you why they call them pull chuck, because the same way that I put them on, you hammer it down, and when you keep going up, all the way here. Now, I had a hard time pushing this down because these are really very, you know, hard, you know, these are denim. But usually you do this with um, neat uh, and very soft material because those have design and has the strip. So, now, you ask how you're gonna take them out? The same way. See this one? You just pull them up. They will just come up. The same thing, when you're done with uh, putting them down, now you wanna start sewing, I mean cutting, pull them up. I mean, you could use your hand too, but you could imagine that you have five inch of fabric or six inch of fabric, it's gonna be very hard. So you're gonna know where your, your notch is. You just go ahead and Pull them up, that's how you do it. It's on our website. Uh, this item is S125. And again, they come in four inch, five inch, six inch and an inch. And this is S125 uh, P4 on our website. Or S125 P5 on our website. Um, again, these are nailed and uh, pull chuck for cutting helping, aiding to uh, cut the fabric easy. All you need is this, the nail, your cutting table, and hammer, and you're good to go. Another video from goldstartool.com. Please let me know what you want us to do next. Thank you for watching.